Okay, what's up, everybody? Peter Valley here in a hot pink bathrobe. I don't want to hear any jokes. I had to make this emergency video, so I'm not prepared at all. But I made this emergency video to declare that there is no emergency. I'm going to tell you what I mean here in a second. Now, you probably, most of you probably know what I'm alluding to. Okay, so let me tell you, let me give you the just brief story here about what happened today. Um, so my schedule today is completely different than normal. I'm actually at a conference. It's actually directly related to how I can actually serve you guys better, but I'm not going to even go into that. I'm at a conference today instead of staying on top of the things I normally stay on top of. So today I'm in the seventh row of this conference and there's a stage in front of me and I'm focusing on that and a text message comes in that says, basically the sky is falling, Keepa is no longer showing any historical data. That was essentially the text message I got. And I was like, whoa, really? And I texted back and I got another one. And they got another one. And they got another one. I got 12 text messages, no joke, 12 text messages while I was sitting at this conference all saying, oh my, basically the sky is falling, total freak out, that Keepa essentially started charging for their data. Okay, so that's all I know, right? I'm on my phone. I'm not even like Googling. I'm trying to focus and I'm just kind of like, okay, so I get back. And so then I get back. Here, I'm in a hotel. I get back to this hotel. I go on Facebook. There are literally 22 posts from you guys all saying, oh my gosh, keep a, keep a, keep a, keep a, keep a, keep a, oh my gosh, f total freak out. Keep us not displaying data anymore. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Okay, so at this point, I've gotten no fewer than about, at this point, what I'm up to, like, th like 35 different confirmations. We're not even counting email, which I haven't even checked yet. 35 different confirmations from people saying, oh my gosh, keep us not showing data anymore. And so I finally, just like 30 minutes ago, went on Amazon, looked at Keepa, and guess what? This entire thing is the biggest hoax in the history of hoaxes. Now, I don't mean to put down any of you that misinterpreted what's going on here, but it's not happening. It's simply, it's just literally not happening. There is one thing that Keepa changed, but it is not a significant thing. And actually, it's not even the thing you can't see anymore. It's just a thing that you see differently. So let me explain. Um, if, if you don't want to watch this video any further, just understand that basically nothing's changed and this is all a big, uh, a, a big, a big to do about nothing. Okay. So here is what did change. Okay. What did change? In fact, let me just show you. I'm not, I, I, I don't even want you to take my word for it. Okay. I want to be, I want no one to be able to say that I am putting a Pollyanna spin on this. This is a hundred percent factual. Okay, so here's the keep a chart, right? Are we all in agreement there? Okay, this is a keep a chart. Now look what happens when you click the sales rank tab, okay? It says, hey, you've got to upgrade now and pay. Okay, so it's like it's like fifteen dollars a month or something, right? Is what they're paying now. Okay. I'll explain my theory in a second as to why they're doing this. And I actually have a pretty, pretty solid one. So they say, okay, from now on you have to pay for these things. Sales rank, buy box, blah, 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 blah. All this other stuff doesn't doesn't really matter that much. Okay, so everyone clicked this and then freaked out. Guess what? This is basically meaningless. This doesn't matter. We don't need this. This doesn't this does not matter. And I'm gonna show you in a second exactly how you can get this already anyway without going here. It's very, very simple. Okay, so everyone's freaking out. Guess what? I almost never do with Keepa. Click this. Why don't I why don't I click this? Because this doesn't matter. It's just a bunch of squiggly lines. Literally, it's a bunch of squiggly lines. All that really matters is it says, okay, the book demand went up in January, which we already know. Or the book demand went up in August, which we already know. Or the book demand was an absolute low point in December, which we already know, right? These are things we already know, at least about textbooks I'm referring to. But again, it, it, the seasonality, it just, it, it, this stuff doesn't matter that much. What matters is the average rank. And guess what? Not only do we show that in Zen Arbitrage, Keepa doesn't even keep that from you. Apparently, at least 35 people, probably 135 by the time I check my email, at least 35 of you didn't bother to hover over this. Wow, what is that? That's basically exactly what the chart showed you anyway. The only thing it doesn't show you is the squiggly lines, okay? So um, the reason I sound so emphatic here is that nothing's happening. This is not, it's not even a, a mini crisis. It's just, it's like almost nothing, okay? So all that we're being denied right now is the squiggly lines. They look cool, but functionally speaking, they're just not, they don't do much for us, right? And some of you may disagree, but I personally don't see much value in that. It's, it's, it's kind of cool, but kind of cool is not really is not really something to freak out over if they didn't deny it to us, right? So we see the we see the um, the current rank, and we see the worst it's ever been been in the last uh, 180 days, 
And then we see the best it's been in the last 180 days. And that's all we need. But guess what? Uh, actually, I have to pause this video. I'm going to show you where you can see this anyway. Okay, so let's just say you're right now you're like, Peter Valley, I need the squiggly lines. My, I live and die by the squiggly lines. I have to pause this video. I'm going to show you exactly where to get the squiggly lines. Okay, hold on. Okay, here we are in Zen Arbitrage, something all of you have access to right now. And you ready for this? Drum roll. Do you know what I'm going to do? Drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. Squiggly lines. Wow. Look at that. We have squiggly lines. So if you're a squiggly line junkie, and I don't mean to be dismissive, like these are kind of cool, right? But they very rarely tell us anything that we that is useful. It's just kind of like, oh, look how much the rank went up in January or whatever, right? But right now, at least as of now, Keepa is still sharing this data with us, with Zen Arbitrage. So actually, if you want the squiggly lines, you pretty much have to be a, <laughs> a Zen Arbitrage subscriber right now. So you guys are very privileged. You have access to this. Okay, so now um, here's the thing. Um, Keepa may may possibly revoke this from us. I don't know. I hope they, they would tell us first, but as of now, they're not doing that. I think one thing I will say is that them removing this from the actual, uh, you know, the actual display on Amazon will incentivize, incentivize us to actually make these charts better. Because I admit they are a little bit sort of, they're, they're small, right? Like we can make these a lot bigger. Um, so that it would actually like approximate the size of what you would see on Amazon normally. Um, there's probably some things we could do here and this will kind of motivate us to, to do that and make these a little more clear since we can't see them on Amazon anymore. But guess what? Even if you're addicted to squiggly lines, you still have the squiggly lines. Your addiction, you'll get your fix, okay? Just right here. So, uh, not really nothing has happened. And actually, it's the weirdest thing, but based on all the text messages and the Facebook posts I saw today, I was convinced that the pricing charts had vanished too because a bunch of people had said that but guess what they're right here i don't it's like not it's just like not it's like not a thing <laughs> i don't i know i sound like i'm 13 but it's like this is not a thing um so uh i i so what i did is in facebook i deleted all of your posts it was like 22 i deleted every single one so I'm, I apologize, but I, I, I'm just going to address in this video. This is not, this is not a thing. Now, um, it's, enti it's entirely possible. I'm going to post this video and I'm going to wake up and then the, like you guys see something I don't see, or maybe like my cash didn't get cleared and actually keep it did is restricting this or something, but I don't, I don't see it. Okay. So, um, again, we have the average rank data and again, we already have this in Zen, right? But you get a little bit more here because you get the, the worst and the best in the last six months and we show 12 months in Zen. So this is kind of like a second opinion if you want a more zoomed in view, but it's still here. The pricing data is still here. The squiggly lines for the prices are still here. The squiggly lines for the sales rank are right here. So everything is there, right? So I just want to make this video to make it clear. The sky's not falling and I don't, and I, I don't know what to say. Like, I don't know what to say. Um, everything's good. Okay. So that's going to address at the very least the 22 people that post on Facebook, the 12 people text message me and the probably literally, and I mean this probably literally 100 emails I have about this in, in my inbox right now. Okay. So, um, I just want to, I, I want to make this video to kind of calm the, the, uh, I, we actually had one person literally say, Hey, Peter Valley, I'm sorry, I have to cancel. Like I, I can't, I can't, I can't do anything anymore. And I, I hope that person is watching this video because you don't have to because nothing's changed. Okay, so uh, I'm belaboring the point now. So um, all I can say is thank you guys for <laughs> for watching this crazy video. Hold on, let's go back to. I just, I really, I want to make this video so you guys can see my bathrobe because I'm really proud of this thing. It's like it's hot pink and it's it's uh it's really it's just cool. I wore this to Starbucks actually. Um, the other day and I, I, I was called iconic and then a barista th jokingly threatened to call the cops because it was not evident that I had clothes on underneath. So, uh, that's all I have to say. I'm just, ra I'm just rambling at this point. Um, yeah, feel free to put comment below. Um, I am going to actually be at this conference tomorrow and, um, and so I, I probably won't see your comments until tomorrow night, but, um, cool. So that's it. Thank you guys. I hope you agree with my assessment that nothing's going on. So cool. Take care.